Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa from Artsy Nessa. Um, let's start off by saying it's been a long time. I haven't done a video and to be honest, it's mostly because I haven't really uh, found anything that I really liked or needed um, that was craft related at any Dollaramas or any specific place I've actually been to. So I've kind of um, not had anything interesting to show in my videos. I don't want to just show you products that I've bought, like cleaning supplies, so I haven't really done any videos. So actually this week I have a collective haul of a kind of a couple of places I've been to and that I bought a couple of things that I thought would be interesting <coughs> Excuse me, to finally show you. So um, I think that I have everything. If not, I'll do another video, but um, it's not that many things. So I'll start with, um, let's see, this little packet here. So here I went to uh, what I what we call here a uh, Dollar Max. Um, it's kind of, I guess, a dollar store with more, a dollar store and more, or a Dollar Tree kind of, but um, here in Quebec. So um, I got these, the, the photo mounts. They're the little um, double-sided adhesives that I couldn't find any more and they had them in stock today so I got them you get 600 for a dollar 25 so I got two boxes um, they had these uh, they are no iron clothing labels so my son started pre-k this year and these basically you don't need to iron them you you write on them the names and um, they stick on even after you wash them they don't come off so um, I had bought some on Amazon and then I saw them here at the place you get 36 for I believe a dollar fifty, which was pretty good. So I, I grabbed one extra pack um, just in case. But I do know that Amazon sells them as well, so maybe a little more expensive. Um, and as you can see, washer and dryer safe. So I got these. Um, these were new. I had never seen them before. Um, these are die cut pads, over 160 paper elements, and this is one of the booklets, and I'll just do a quick flip through. So they are punched out already, so you just have to push them out. You don't need to cut. And this is one of the packs, and basically you get two of each motifs. <clears throat> and they're quite like, um, these are quite vintagey looking. I believe the other packs as well are kind of vintagey looking. So these ones are kind of like the butterfly and flower pack. Um, this one, maybe it's more bohemian, but um, yeah, this one is. And I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, in the back, it does show you what you get. I can't remember how much I paid these. They might have been $2.50, but I can't remember right now. I do remember saying, oof, they are kind of more expensive than I expected, but... Sorry, I'm going to have to put it upside down because I'm right-handed to flip. Let's see if I can flip this way. Sorry. So, they are quite nice, these ones. Also quite kind of vintage -y looking. Some tickets. So I'd never seen anything like this, so I kind of... Well, at that dollar store, so I, I picked them up. This was like, I believe, the newest thing they had. And these ones are very um, vintage looking. Um, right now my brain is not working. I can't find the word I'm looking for, but they're really soft tones, flowers, and butterflies. And very cute. So I got those three because I thought they were different and something I didn't have for sure. And that's another thing. I've been trying to buy only things that I don't really have because I do have a lot of supplies and like I was trying to use what I have instead of just accumulating. And I couldn't leave it this there. It was too cute. It's puffy foil stickers. And uh, these were, I think, $1.50. Um, and they are COVID-themed or pandemic-themed. And I just couldn't leave without them because I don't have anything like this. And I don't think I've seen anything other than these ones that I found. So, yeah. 
Then I went to this scrapbook store, which I want to buy one of everything there, but I, I kind of can't because they're kind of expensive. I got this, was on 40% off, and it was originally $7.99, so I paid this about $4 something. And it's just some ephem ephemera or some, uh, what do they call it? Yeah, ephemera. And basically, this is what you get. You get some vellum paper uh, die cuts, and you get some other die cuts made out of cardboard. So those are the images we get. And then they had this paper pad that was eleven ninety nine, and also forty percent off. So it came out to approximately um, seven something or eight something. I don't remember. So I got this. And those are the papers, and it's really cute. Just a small paper pad. Like I said, I wasn't going there to spend too much money. Um, my mother-in-law is actually here from Colombia, and she's also a crafter, so I brought her to some um, crafting stores. So just want, got these couple of things that were on sale. So, yeah. Um, we also went to Indigo, and at Indigo I got... Um, they didn't really have many many card magazines like usual. I got this one that is Christmas themed, which was a bit weird that it, they had a Christmas themed one, but um, I got this. Um, the other ones were had stamp sets, and I didn't really in bother because I didn't like them. Um, so this one, Follow the Star uh, Salvation Army, um, and it's quite pretty. They have kind of fell apart in my hands here but um, they have some punch outs um, they have two of each of these ones they're very delicate they keep popping out anyways <laughs> here's more these two are the same and then this one so they're quite, um, I guess, religious themed. Oh, these ones. Oh, there's more. I thought that was it. These ones. And they're shiny and really pretty and very thick cardstock. Oh, there's these ones as well. These are beautiful. And then they have some paper. Some different papers here. So you can make some cards. Oh, here's some more cutouts. These you would have to cut. Um, but quite good paper and thick so I'm happy about that I wasn't gonna get any and this one was kind of like hidden so I had to kind of dig for it and then I saw it and I said oh I'm gonna take this and then it seems that like donation went to Salvation Army I'm not sure because it said there's some stickers and it says in set I in sending you this card, I'm supporting the Salvation Army. So, and some shiny papers. So that was kind of good. Of course, you know that these magazines are quite expensive. They're about 20, 20 to twenty-five dollars, I believe. So I'm, I'm not gonna buy it if I really don't feel like I'm gonna use it or that it's a theme that I like. So this theme Christmas definitely is something I wanted. So I was happy to get that, and. I will, I because it's indigo I did get my son a book and this one was at a great price it was eight dollars and you get 500 uh, reuse reusable stickers and like it's the sticker books this one is the Toy Story one so um, you know he learns at the same time playing with the stickers so I got him that because for eight bucks I thought it was a great deal to be honest there was no price on it like I don't really know how much it would cost me um, for the book when it's not on sale because this one was in the sale department for eight bucks but I thought for eight dollars was a good deal um, then I have some dollar store no I have one thing from Michaels so I went to Michaels like a couple like weeks ago for like this paper pad and some other stickers but my Michaels didn't have the stickers I wanted so I just got the paper pad and um, yeah, so I got this paper pad. I'm sure you've already seen it. Um, it's actually quite expensive. It's the it's $19.99, but I did use my 30% off because 
I was like, I don't get it. Why is it so expensive? Actually, I forgot. I have something else to show you from Michaels after. But it is quite nice. This one is my least favorite pattern. But then the rest are quite Halloween-y. And I really wanted this one. There were other ones, but I like this one because it's kind of vintage-y looking. And I like the orange and the black. I really would love to get some pink pinkaboo Halloween stuff, but I, I haven't really found any, and so I, I stuck with this. So, and the other thing I got at Michael's that day, um, they're kind of mixed up because I already opened the packages and actually sent some to my son's pre-K teacher. Oops, sorry, I moved the camera. <clears throat> Is these stickers, they come in like packages like this. Um... And they're $4.99 and some of them are scratch and sniff and some are not. Um, so there was this model and this and these ones and these ones. And I thought they were super vintagey looking and I thought that they were super cute. So I bought some for myself and I shared with my son's uh, teacher so as you can see some they come in um, like this one was this these two sets together and there was this one that came with only this uh, because you get how many these ones had much more 500 pieces these this one came with 200 and there was another pack that I I put the other stickers for the teacher in. And those ones were also like 250 not too many so these ones are all the same yep and they're also reminded me of those vintage 80 stickers from the teachers so I thought they were really cute and I bought them as well so yeah so I got that's what I got at Michael's that day I knew I had gotten something else that I couldn't remember and these were in the bins in the front when you go through the cash so I was happy to find them when I went through and I got my paper pad that's what I got at Michael's and then we went to a dollarama and I found the Halloween um, craft paper you get 30 sheets for three dollars and you get purple green oops it's not um focusing but anyways you get purple green black and orange which i love those colors of course and um i bought two packs to make sure i have enough in my stash so because i had bought the the red pink and i believe it comes with white and purple for for valentine's and i had only bought one pack and i'm pretty much finished it so i'm a little sad that i didn't buy two but anyways then i found these stick um sticky notes and I thought they were really cute because they have the unicorn they had other models but I only got the unicorn one and it's like a little booklet and here it says unicorn rules and you have a little place that you can write on and then of course you have the little um, note pads with the stickiness sticky pads so I thought those were cute and that I could be able to share with people and um, they're just they're just cute so I got that that was two dollars and it says over it says 400 sheets so that's pretty good and so I couldn't find these I got two now but I couldn't find them and so on my cousin who lives in the city nearby she got them for me I have no idea if she found them in her city or somewhere else but she got me two of them so I was really excited because I couldn't find them I did find them the other day when I went but she had already bought them for me so I didn't pick them up I waited for her to just drop them off for me and I got two because you know just in case I don't have enough and I love how they have some of the foils and for four dollars you know it's it's pretty good um, the dollar max that I went to had some paper pads but they were like eight dollars and I felt that it wasn't worth it the eight dollars so I didn't get it um, so that's my mini little haul here I didn't like I said I didn't haven't really been finding too much and trying not to spend money on things that I already have so that's my little haul. Um, I really hope that you guys like this video and I'm really sorry for not having a video every week anymore. It's quite hard. Uh, my son has started pre-K um, and you know, just um, not finding things or 
um, not being motivated to craft that much. So I don't know. It's uh, been a, one of those months or couple of months but I'm happy to uh, show you this video and um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and put the thumbs up if you like the video and if you hit the little bell you'll be notified whenever I put a new video thank you so much for coming and watching and have a great day